I'm here on the SP bus with a bunch of SPs waiting for some Irish guys to show up, which is a bit of a joke really because they came with me from Ireland. They can't be lost. We're in Clearwater, we're on Fort Harrison. Alright everybody, welcome to the SP tour. Thank you for coming. First location on our tour will be on your right, this building on the corner here. Before it used to be public course rooms, but they've shifted all of that to the SP building, excuse me, flag building. And rumor is they're rehabbing it for Sea Org training, but of course we know that's bullshit. So this building here? This building right here is the Coachman building. You can often see lights on in the upper floors well into 10, 11 o'clock at night. This brick is part of it? This whole building is the Coachman building. The uh, next building on our tour is on the left side, an apartment building above the okay. colony, which is where Kyle Burns body was found. Oh my god. That's about the theater. Right above the, uh, these are apartments right here. Yes, yes. I didn't realize there was Right across the street from the headquarters of Bosa. Wow. Where's the headquarters? Where's the outside headquarters? What's right here? Where's the outside headquarters? We'll get to it. Uh, it's, uh, but it's right across, across the street. Coming up to the one-stop shop. We've just passed the one-stop shop. You've probably seen it in numerous anonymous videos. Oh yeah, well, we were thinking of booking this place for the conference. <laughs> we were, seriously, yeah. Owned by Scientologists, they actually have a little cove in the back that has nothing but LRH material. Yeah. It used to yeah, be on the corner of Cleveland and Fort Harrison. So we're gonna stop here to let everybody off to take photos in front of the pretty water fountain in front of the Osceola Hotel. We have a uh, security guard already tailing us. Excellent. You guys will look to your uh, to the back there, the white shirt, speaking in the microphone. Oh yeah. Okay. Which one is that? She's gonna go. She's gonna uh, go around and park on the streets, and security's already tailing us. Okay. Uh, flag security is a. Uh, he's talking. He's walkie talkies. Uh, following the bus. This is a common sight in Clearwater, folks. That's uh, also legal. Who's the head of also I don't know her name. Sarah. 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 Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Sarah who? Sarah Ellis. Sarah. Oh, that's Sarah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Sarah. Yeah. That's her. That's her. Are you happy doing what you're doing? Are you just going to be stopping? Really happy? Because we're all a lot happier than you are right now. You're pretty sad and dour. Someone take your photographs across the way. Don't stop. Seriously, see them. Both these three. Give me a break. Don't knock the tech. I have to resist. They know it works. can't resist. We're just waiting on a couple more people. With the Flintstones. Okay, we're just going to uh, backtrack a little bit so we can go forward and see the same castle in Osceola proper. Okay. I like it. Oh, actually, this big white building right here on, our, on your right is the West Coast building. That's the site of most of David Miscavige's beatings of his uh, subordinates like Tom Devot. Why are the bars on the window? I Look heard. at this. Look at this. Well, folks, you can see Sea Org in their native uh, camp. If there's a free one, it's really on. Well, you know, we got their blood pressure so, up. So, what is it, Michael? Don't knock the tech, they know it works. Don't knock Hubbard, they know he's a genius. What else? And uh, the other one. Care about it. Care about it. Yay! But they don't go there if I forget their own Tony. Tony. Yeah. The uh, Sea Org wear their uniform. Their, the color coding is really important. It tells you who, what, the, what um, corporation they work for, like RTC or just regular Sea Org or EPF, EPF. Uh, I don't have the, the, the color schemes quite mastered. Uh, but if we see some, I'll point them out to you. Okay. Were you in Sea Org before? I have never been in Scientology. Oh. Woo! I'm just, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm sick in the head or something. Okay, we're back towards the uh, the waterfalls, and this is actually the sandcastle right over here. I'm sorry, I missed that. 
Uh, this again is the advanced org of flag. This is your OT five, six, and seven. Look at the uh, security guards standing very seriously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to... Look, everybody, there's a BT. Yeah. 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 So me. So in this situation, well, no, I no, 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 no. wanted to go down before here. How does your right? telemetry compare to We're supposed to go through the building so that they can see us more. Good question. I like it. Compare our turn level yeah. to yours. I still got the work. Turn level right now. Where are you guys? Where are you? 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 Where are Better angle. And then this uh, white building right over here, we'll, we'll get a better angle when we go by it. But this is the Osceola, which is primarily hotel accommodations for public that come down to flag for their six month second check that is not, uh, does not comport with the tech. And also I think it's kind of overflow for Sandcastle when it's, uh, they have too many of their rich celebrities at Sandcastle closing down entire floors for themselves. They shift, them, they shift the uh, riffraff over to Osceola. This white building over here, the parking lot is the site of their annual winter wonderland. <laughs> Where, where unsuspecting, unsuspecting public are lured into uh, a, a false Christmas display. Yeah. Yep. Our, our six months, right? Our six months. Our six Our six months. They don't believe in Santa. And again, folks, this is the Asiola Hotel right here in the white. We're coming back this way, so we'll get the CCHR bar. I completely forgot about CCHR. I'm sorry. So you want to What does this stand for? Uh, Citizens Commission on Human Rights. How do I know that? <laughs> okay. So, so of course, uh, Clearwater is famous famous for its beaches. Clearwater Beach, of course. But um, a lot of Scientologists that come down here for coursework actually don't make it to the beach. I uh, talked to Gaier about this. Gaier, how do you see it? He said it, in all the time that he'd come to flag for training, he had never once been to the beach, which is just a tragedy. Wow. I've at least been to the beach one time. <laughs> Bayside, no vacancy. Trade winds, no vacancy. No cars and no people. No cars. I'll see maybe one car once in a great while. This entire block here is owned by Scientology. This is the site of the former LMT building. You recognize the uh, brick oh, yeah, facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's this a, right here, derelict block. Coach, it, Coachman oh, Bank. This is the uh, Coachman Bank building. This is where they had the mess hall before they opened the SP building, and now they eat in the SP building. They don't have to leave at all during the day. So they own a lot of empty buildings. buildings. They, they, bought, they bought a lot of empty buildings and merged them all together. We have uh, Flagstaff right here on the right, oh, right hand corner. Oh, all right, here's a uh, spot that's close to my heart. This is the uh, infamous Sea Org right here, right next to the uh, Coachman Bank building. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't see 
This is uh, Sea Org Alley. They don't really oh, run nice. yeah, Sea Org here anymore. Woo, 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 woo. Wow. And there's these pictures in the alley over there. Oh, is that oh, the one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Peter Gilliam's Coming up on your left here is Station Square Condominium Building. This is where the Russian dropped out of the 8th floor and committed suicide at the end of last year. Yeah, yeah, he did. What's the name of it? Station Square Condominiums. I actually checked the place out for a condo. It's really nice buildings. Wow, those are like... Yeah, yeah. This, is the, uh, you, this right? is the alley where somebody shooped a uh, big inflatable uh, pillow with uh, Dianetic Sage Lives on it uh, to catch the jumping Russian. Uh, uh, okay, this uh, next location is going to be quick. It's on your right hand side. Right after this orange brick, there's a little motel here. It used to be a travel lodge, and it's been converted into Sea Org staff, uh, Sea Org birthing, but they are rehabbing it now, and I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with it. But that used to be Sea Org birthing. We would see Sea Orgers come out there to do weird exercises while I, uh, while we would have breakfast here. On the uh, corner here on your left-hand side, there's a Walgreens. Saturday mornings around 10 o'clock, they'll drop off Sea Org and let them do some shopping Saturday mornings. You see, you see like a ton of Sea Org coming out of there, walking to their post Saturday morning. I believe they get lives on Saturday morning. If you're lucky. Every two weeks. If you're lucky, every two weeks. The next building on our tour is coming up on your left-hand side at the uh, light. And it is the Yachtsman. This is the uh, lowest tier level hotel for out of uh, for public coming down for training. They, there's a very strict hierarchy of their hotels, starting with Oak Cove, and then I believe it's Oak Cove, then Fort Harrison, then you work your way down. This is the bottom, the Yachtsman. I never see any cars in here, any sign of life oh, during the day. But when I but when I come here, when I come through here after getting here on the plane at like 11 or midnight. I'll see, actually see signs of life. Okay. So what I think is, oh, uh, you can see the uh, Sea Org staff are in the lobby. He's hiding. I think, um, I think what happens is people take a shuttle down to here and then are on services all day long. They don't get back until like 11 o'clock at night and that's why I don't see them until midnight. So just go up to uh, Missouri, take a left and uh, head on down to Keene. We're going to work on the road right here. We are making our way to our next stop, which is the world famous Hacienda Gardens. This is the primary Sea Org birthing for all flag Sea Org. We'll be on your right hand side and we're going to take another stop here so that you can take a quick picture in front of the Hacienda Gardens sign. Okay. You'll notice all the security cameras. You'll be able to see it when we get out. All right, everybody, we uh, step off for pictures in front of Hacienda Garden. Primary Sea Org birthing and flag. NRPF. When was the last time you saw your family? Your family misses you. Listen, Miscavige is lying to you. He doesn't give a fuck about you. Are you happy with your life? No, we're, we're on the sidewalk. We're wasting your life in here. We're on the sidewalk. No, we're trespassing. We're on public property. Well, are you happy with the choices you made that you want to become Miscavige's slave? What do we have to eat today? You really want to have more than a diet of just rice and beans, fella? Seventy million dollar mansion and has four cars. You know they're taking money off you. You are paying for Miscavige's suits and his high living, while you are making nothing. How much did you get paid this week? Did you get the full forty-six dollars, or was it only eight? When was the last time you were able to talk to your family? Are you happy with yourself? Basically, having a little bus tour of all the Scientology locations in town. 
Yeah. We're trying to talk to them and help them and get them out, but of course that's next to impossible. They know better than anybody but, you want, you know. And yes, look at the place. They're locked up, they're locked in, they can't get out. Of course they don't. Billions, billions, yeah. We just came through there. It's derelict buildings, it's an absolute dump. Some are locked in, yeah. They have, they have their own little internal prison. They call it a rehabilitation project. It's just been pointed out to me that in the trees along here are lights and motion detectors. So oh, yeah. if anyone was to try and jump over the fence at night, not only would they be spotted by the motion detectors, they'd also be spotted with the lights coming on. So if you are imprisoned in here, there's absolutely no escaping. I'm not sure what gardens is where the cadet org is now, unless they've moved it since I made my video. We're coming back up and I see the gardens. If you look in the windows, you might be able to see some of the bunk beds, three bunk beds, first side. They might have put the uh, curtains down, but if you look closely there, you can see one. Yeah, they are right there. There's plenty of uh, security cameras. Wherever you look, you'll find them. Oh, I see a basketball court. Nobody playing. But nobody playing. Nobody home. They're all work. <laughs> One vehicle, two, three. Oh well, yeah, there's actually, it's a, it's a full lot for Scientology. There are private apartments that they bought and then let the leases expire and converted it to. Uh, converted it to Sea Org Birthing. You'll notice that the uh, structure is much more modern or up to date than Hacienda Gardens, which Hacienda Gardens I would, is you know much older building, I think. This is a gentleman in a red shirt. I'm not sure what that red means. But uh, again, this is Sherwood Gardens on your right. Yeah, I wonder how the neighbors feel having birds in the middle of their, like... Oh, there's a couple sea orbers in the parking lot? Suburban neighborhood. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're getting a tour of them. There's a Okay, this, this is all Sherwood Gardens back here, and right across the street from it, it's still Sherwood Gardens, but I believe that's the cadet org. That's where I uh, got some video of kids playing in the parking lot, and then they walked across the street. So it could be that they have cadet org facilities in both parts of the, uh, both sides of the street. Again, on the left, on the left side, that's the, uh, I believe that's the cadet orb, to the best of my knowledge. So there's no kids there, right? Yeah. Yep. So the right hand side, we have the goods receiving building. Not entirely sure what goes on there. Possibly commercial laundry service.
here. Then here is Sherwood Gardens with uh, flag buses in the parking lots. Again, if you look in the windows, you might be able to see some uh, triple bunk beds. Then you have uh, WOG housing here. <laughs> East side of Hacienda Gardens. Again, if you look in the windows, you might be able to see triple, quadruple bunk beds. You'll see multiple camera, pro camera posts. That's where Benshaw lives. Uh, Benshaw, Benshaw, Osa. This is their primary residence. All their flag security guards. Cameras everywhere. They also have uh, RPF there, although I always thought that they brought RPF around to remote locations to do work at midnight or one o'clock in the morning so people won't see them. The site on our tour coming up on the left hand side is Clearwater Academy, otherwise known as Scientology High. exception of a couple of the units but it's all Scientology building. You can see a flag security riding around on his bike. Four more of our LMT offices have been turned into part of their entire, the entire block is all Scientology building. We're on the uh, main drag again once again. Uh, we have on our right the West Coast building again, site of many a, many a David Miscavige beatdowns. On the, on the left, the mimeograph room. Lots of flag buses, CR buses. This is rush hour for them. Clearwater Bank building. This is uh, upstairs, I'm told, is the uh, location of OSA. Then on the left here is Coachman building, formerly public course rooms now being converted to CR staffing rooms, or training rooms, I'm sorry. And, and we're, I'm going to start talking about it now. We're coming up on the granddaddy of them all, the Fort Harrison. There's so much to say about it, I don't even know where to start. Uh, before the Scientologists bought it, it's reported that, uh, legend has it, that Keith Richards wrote Satisfaction there. Uh, no doubt after a drunken bender. I've been in the Fort Harrison before I started protesting and it, is go it, it does not look like much on the outside, but it is gorgeous inside. The uh, cabanas where they starve Lisa McPherson to death in particular, they've really done those up really nice. So if you're ever in there, you're dying of uh, hydration, at least you have uh, you know, decent accommodations. Uh, they often have, uh, they have Friday night graduations, we can't see this back, but that's, they take a lot of photos there, they have a lot of uh, strobe lights going on Friday night, Saturday nights, they know how to party. The, uh, this big building here on the right, that's the Oak Cove, I think it's all accommodations, and again, it's either the Fort Harrison or the Oak Cove, that's their top line hotel that people stay at. On the left, again, these are the cabanas. One of these is where Lisa McPherson uh, starved to death. Coming past here, um, we'll have the little park that David Miscavige built. Right here, it's very pretty. That parking lot there, that's where Nancy Manny had her RPF when she was pregnant. They put her on a mattress. But coming up on our right-hand side is Morton Hospital which of course is the uh, hospital that they brought Lisa McPherson after she got involved with it in an accident at a corner just a couple more lights down. And Morton Plant Hospital is on our right hand side. This uh, next building in particular is pretty, pretty interesting building. I had uh, never heard about it until I heard Marty Rathman talking about it on one of the St. Pete Times videos. I think it was uh, after he came back off the free winds 
they didn't quite know what to do with them, and they said, why don't you just go work at Flag Mill? And I was, I, I'd never heard of it before, so I kind of uh, started doing some research, and then finally somebody told me where it was, and this is, uh, this is the next stop on the, on the tour. The first time I went there, I ran across what I now believe to be a couple RPFers cleaning. They were, they actually seemed kind of happy, so I, I didn't think RPF, but I think that's what they were. From what I understand, this is a fully operational sawmill. In the back, they got the, uh, the wood chipper. They put the fences up when I come to town so I can't see inside there, but it, in the evenings, I can look in and see people working. It's usually, it seems like it's primarily females, like in their 20s, I want to say. I know that's kind of weird, but that's just something I noticed. Uh, they're making furniture all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm told that they make they make mock-ups of furniture, which is they make a uh, a prototype, I guess, and then they ship that. You know, that would say something to them. The door is open down there. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. They're in there. Oh, there's a flag bus. Let's get out. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get out. The door is open. Anarchy. No, there's a bus right there. Oh yeah, they're here. They're watching. They're watching. Uh, hey, wait, guys. He kind of been too long. And the garage door's open down there. That guy waved at us. We got it on camera. No problem. This is gonna be in the RPF. I'm gonna have her uh, loop around to see if we can go by that open door. Okay. All right. Like again, I uh, the first time I found it, I walked around it, and it just just seems like a regular nondescript warehouse, people working. Uh, but again, I, I came across those two females, and I I, I, I want to say that now that they were RPF, one time I saw a crew get off of a van. And the leader of the band, of the crew, kind of like motioned at, them, motioned at them, like, come on, you're supposed to run. Well, then they started running, which immediately made me think RPF. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that time you went by and someone's like, you take a blue torch in there with that eye protection? Like, you know, Yeah, no, they don't seem to be, they don't seem to take uh, basic precautions. Oh, okay. oh no, I saw that when the furniture pulled down. Oh, yeah. 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 It got really bad and they had it outside. This is uh, the site of it. You know the Hedgefer Research Guy? So they make two can yeah. partners or something like that? Yeah. This is their off their offices are in this building. The PI, the Falcon, Falcon PI. Does anyone remember that? Yeah. And then you know the uh, the head hedge fund research guy that was bald. They had their offices over there too. There's a flag boss up ahead, right? Yeah. We have a flag boss ahead. Side flag mill. What, what more can you say about the superpower of Valley that hasn't been said? 150 million. The oil in this table, 150 million dollars. Um, Cause resurgence rundown. Cause resurgence running around in a circle for six hours, paying for it. <coughs> I, uh, again, with the closing or the rehabbing of the Coachman Building, it seems like they've moved all the public that used to go to Coachman Building to Flag. Not necessarily what you say to them, it's just the fact of your presence, that that counts. Uh, and it's, it, to me, it seems like each person has their own reasons for why they left or what their trigger was to start the process. And you can never know what that is for each individual. As long as you're out there, to me, that's 95% of causing them to hopefully eventually wake up. The uh, front entrance of the flag building, you can see the flag lettering at the top there. Of course you have... Hey. The girl that's talking next to the police officer, the shorter one, that is Sarah.